Hey everybody, it is Kimberly Fay Greenberg and I am so excited because it is Friday night and it is time for a new episode of The Homemade Sketch Show. Woohoo! Now, I am your host this evening and before I start any kind of performance, I always like to make sure that I'm very well hydrated. So, I'm grabbing myself a little drink. I hope that you two have made yourself a cocktail or grabbed yourself a beverage or two or three of choice. Don't worry, we can't see the screen not a big deal drink as much as you want all right there you go now tonight you're gonna to be seeing a lot of funny sketch comedians and performers and so you are probably wondering well why the hell am I here <laughs> well admittedly I am NOT a sketch comedian nor am I a stand-up comic but again here we are coming to you live from my apartment in West New York New Jersey now if you don't know where that is we are in quarantine. You have plenty of time on your hands. Take some time to look it up. Great. All right. Well, I am also a performer. I work on stage and backstage on Broadway, which is now closed until 2021, but I digress. I am also the Fanny Bryce go-to gal. Again, homework. If you don't know who she is, make sure to Google her. And then I'm also the Broadway expert. So lots of things are happening there all over the performing world for me that I'm sharing with you right now. Now, whether or not you care, I thought it would be fun to sort of give a look looks backsy on the 2020. So in 1920, what we now know as the Roaring Twenties, is when sort of Broadway became the thing that it kind of morphed into today. That was basically the beginnings of musical theater with the Ziegfeld Follies, with Fanny Bryce. Ha, huh, how appropriate. Well, of course, moving into 2020, we sure thought there was going to be some sort of resurgence, like moving back into that roaring 2020. Well, 2020 sure did roar. It just kind of roared in a different kind of way. <laughs> and here we are. However, so many great things, just like the Homemade Sketch Show, has come out of quarantine and the pandemic. And we are so glad that you are here tonight watching this with us. We can't say enough wonderful things about you, our audience, joining us tonight and helping us turn this weird 2020 right back into a roaring one. So enjoy that drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the homemade sketch show. Cheers. I just have to find myself and warn myself about COVID. It's great. It doesn't look right though. It looks, what date is it? June 22nd, 1985. I wanted to go to 2019. I, it says I'm right there. Oh my gosh, it's me when I'm three. Oh my gosh, I was adorable. Hi. How are you? Can I talk to you? Okay, pay attention. In 2019, there's gonna be a big outbreak of a virus and I need you to warn everybody about it, to take it seriously, to wear masks and to, you're not listening at all. This is a snowman. Yeah, that is a snowman. Yeah. Um, listen, um, in a few years, 
Uh, can you say 2019? No, you don't care. Um, okay, um, so there's this thing called COVID. Can you say COVID? Are you saying I'm a poopy butt? Okay, um, um, yeah, okay, well, how about, how am I going to explain this? Uh, okay, well, what did I like when I was growing up? I liked dogs, I liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I liked, where the heck did I go? Oh my gosh, he was just here. No! Who? Oh, let's sing a song. Okay, this song is called Things to Buy in 2019, okay? It goes, Clorox wipes. Hand sanitizer, toilet paper. You try. Clorox wipes. No, that's the that's the A B. You're just singing the A B C. That's not helping. And oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, listen. I gotta go, but uh, you're adorable. COVID nineteen. Say that. COVID nineteen. Good luck, kid. Gosh, you're adorable. Okay, take care. Hmm. Oh, if your brother ever wants to borrow your Game Boy, don't let him. He's going to break it. That was weird. Oh, my, what you doing there? Oh, I already knew because I've been watching you for five and a half minutes. I'm Paul Peeper of Peepin' Tom's Bed and Breakfast in Key West, Florida. Here, we allow you to watch your neighbors. You can sign a waiver. Peepin' Tom's Bed and Breakfast in Key West, Florida, where the peepin's great. Come on in! Here at Peepin' Tom's, we've got a few rules to make things fun for everyone. That's right, like our number one rule, peep peep, no time. You can peep all you want and be peeped at. But hey, you can't touch unless you get permission, and written is always the best. Enjoy. Are you looking at me? I hope so. Even the dogs can get in on the action. Oh my, oh my. I love being the owner here at Peep and Tom's because we don't have any locks on our doors and you can do just that anytime, day or night. We do, however, have rooms for number two because nobody wants to be interrupted for that, except my German guests. Oh, I thank you kindly. Cheers. Here at Peep and Tom's, we have white wine spritzes by the pool all day. Oh, and you can experience one of our great mottos here at Peep and Tom's. That's okay, you can watch. I'll be shirtless later, maybe more. Mmm, delicious. Here at Peep and Tom's, we encourage you to peep, peep, peep the very first moment you get here and peep the whole way through until we take you back to the airport in our Jeep. Peep and Tom's, check out the website www.peeppeepthepeep.com. Peep and Tom's is a queer round, all inclusive resort in South West East Florida. I don't know where the fuck Key West is. You know, Black Lives Matter, you know, even at the protests, there were these counter protesters, all these Karens and police all over the place. I swear, those people really need to go home. Oh, hi, sorry, I, I, I didn't see you there. Uh, what can I help you with today? Hey, uh, I have all the forms filled out. The judge said I needed to finalize everything with the clerk. So if we could just uh, get this all over with. Absolutely duty. Welcome to the New York Civil Court. Congratulations. Uh, where, where's your partner? They need to fill out forms too. Oh, it, it's just me. Oh, how progressive. I'm not here for a marriage license. I'm here for a legal name change. Ah, 
I see. Well, let's get this party started. What is the illegal name, please? It's Karen. Huh? What, 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 what is it, honey? Uh, my, my ears are not so good. My, my name is, is Karen. Huh? Karen. K-A-R-E-N. My name is Karen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not not appropriate. Not appropriate. Yeah. So could we just uh, change it? I completely understand. Uh, last name, please. My last name is White. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> yes, really. Uh, my last name is White. So we could just move this along, please. I got you. <laughs> You've got the white stuff, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not appropriate. Uh, uh, address? Street address? 1106 Mar-a-Lago Way. Mar-a-Lago? <laughs> As in Cheetah Head Mar-a-Lago? <laughs> Janice! Janice! This Cameron, she lives in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Yeah, can we, can we just not broadcast this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Email address? Would you mind if I wrote it down? Oh, just, just tell it to me, it's fine. I would really rather not. Ah, oh, to tell it to me! I'm here and my ears are clear. <laughs> All right. K, 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 White at Southern Life University. Yeah, what, what, what was the first part? KKK White at Southern Life University. <laughs> Janice, Janice, I swear I, I, I'm being pranked over here. <laughs> Please stop talking to Janice. This is really embarrassing. I work for a college. My full name is Karen Kayla Kristen White. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, uh, one last step. Uh, I'm gonna need you to take your sunglasses off so so we can take your little picture picture for your new ID. Do we have to? Rules is rules. I'm sure anything on your face can't be that bad. <sighs> Janice, it's a birthmark. I was born this way. Broken blood vessels. Can we please just speed this along and stop drawing so much attention to me, please? <laughs> All you're gonna have to do is go over to the next booth and smile for the camera. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then you'll be sunny, set, set, and ready to go. I, I, I just have to ask you one last thing, you poor Poor woman, why are you going about changing everything now? Well, with all the cases sort of rising in Florida, I decided to move to New York. I was recently at the airport. <coughs> yes, the airport. <coughs> and I even took a flight. Oh, that boy crazy right there. Don't look, don't look. However, I took major precaution. Just like that. That's all there is to it. I held tight and close to this friend that kills 99% of germs. My God! Wow! What about that 1% though? I mean, that 1% of germs, it, it doesn't catch, like... <laughs> give, give me a little anxiety, you know? I didn't touch a thing. Why do they even have touch screens right now? No, I will not eat, drink, play, or touch. I mean, y'all need to find a non-touch way to offer those same options. I have one close call with touching though. Like, just, just one little small moment. Escalators can be tricky with luggage, but thank God for my cat-like reflexes. I did have to remind people to not get too close at times. Oh no, God!
No, God, please, no! I had to refuse some help at times. Nah, brother, I can get my bag. I got my bag. I, I, I can get my bag. And I did look at a couple people like they were crazy who weren't wearing masks. Like, what? what? Uh-uh. No. But I made it home safe and sound. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> Food went bad in the refrigerator. Yeah, sorry. But that's not the worst thing to walk into. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Shit is real! Shit is getting real! Stay safe. Each week on the Homemade Sketch Show features a new musical guest. Here with their new song, Money or Drugs, which is the third single off their upcoming album, In the Box, due out July 31st, so look for it. Direct from Nashville, here are the Midtones. Well, it was lonesome, downright excruciating, taken through the door with the bags in my head, you and my reflection. Did you mean what you said that it would be alright? Well, it was numbing. Classic case of who done it. But never sing a word, never sing a
always a bridesmaid, never a bride, we'll check out the reality show perfect for you, The Bridesmaid. I'm getting married. <laughs> I just am so excited. I think the hardest part is probably like choosing my bridesmaids because I just like don't want to hurt anybody except for Olivia. The Bridesmaid has tons of bitchy interviews. I've been her best friend since she was three. So if she doesn't pick me, that would be insane. The first bridesmaid's dress goes to Eleanor. The next bridesmaid's dress goes to Lily. That's right, there's children. I'm just so excited to be a bridesmaid because um, my mom said at my first wedding, I could get my ears pierced. Now I'm gonna get my ears pierced before anybody else in my class. She picked a child before me and not to be a flower girl, to be her bridesmaid. What is she supposed to do at the bachelorette party? I'm gonna stay up way past my bedtime. <laughs> what was I saying again? The next bridesmaid's dress goes to... Love watching women melt down on camera? Well, the bridesmaids got you covered. If she doesn't pick me today, I think like, my life would end. <sighs> the next bridesmaid's dress goes to... Jennifer S. I've always been on top. I win everything. Jennifer slept with her ex in college. The last bridesmaid's dress goes to... Jennifer P. <laughs> and none for you, Olivia. It's just because I don't have brown hair. Congratulations to all the girls who made it. Next week, I'm announcing Maid of Honor. If she picks Jennifer S, I'm gonna die. If Jennifer P thinks that she's gonna be maid of honor, she's got another thing coming. The bridesmaid for planning weddings and ruining friendships. So my maid of honor is gonna be my dog. Animals, you're back. Yo, Shannon here, your animal loving reporter. Coming at you from the hood of this big bag of dicks of a town. Today, we're going down to the LA Bat Caves. Yes! What? We went inside and they came to play. Let's go see what we can find. Ted, you're coming. Ted, you promised. No, Ted, don't do this to me. Ted, you have to film me! You're gonna ruin this! Ted! That was a poofy tucked llama. Llamas are dope. That was a rare couture blue bonnet albino bunny, all the way from Paris, France. That bunny has style for days. I love Easter. What? That was a horny spotted leopard from Hoboken, New Jersey. That's Frank Sinatra's favorite animal. Bada boom, bada bing.
Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing okay. I know that you're probably worried about Christmas and I wish I had the answers as to whether or not it'll be okay. But you know what? One thing is for sure. There will be presents! Ho ho ho! Because up here at my workshop things have been going full steam ahead. Everyone's been commending New Zealand for having so few cases. But you know what? Up here at the North Pole, we've had zero! And it's a good thing, because we don't have a hospital up here anyway. Sure, we perform surgery on the toys, but I don't think that glue and googly eyes would do much to help the humans. <laughs> but I am doing some very important work, making some very important safety changes to ensure everything will be all right with the delivery of the presents. And I can introduce myself to you now as your... That's right, you can just call me SDS for short. Now right off the bat I should tell you I've been getting a lot of letters asking for vaccines for Christmas. Unfortunately, that's not something the elves and I know how to make just yet. But even though I'm very much at risk because I'm hundreds of years old, Mrs. Claus has put me on a very strict diet and exercise regime to boost my immunity so I'll be safe when I come out of this North Pole bubble. Instead of saying ho ho ho, I've been saying go 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 as I glisten with sweat. <laughs> and this year you won't be able to run on up and sit in my lap at the mall because that's not safe. You'll have to tell me what you want for Christmas from six feet away. And make sure you enunciate, because I won't be able to read your lips since you'll be wearing a mask, right? And boy, you know what? I'm actually kind of relieved. I've got terrible arthritis in my knees, and I'm tired of all those little rascals running up and then screaming and crying when they meet me, like I'm some kind of monster. Is that any way to show appreciation for someone who brings you primo gifts every year and asks nothing in return? <laughs> anyway, well, at the mall, instead of saying ho, 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 I'll be saying whoa, 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 back up, kid. <laughs> and this year, leave the cookies in the mailbox because Santa will not be coming down the chimney. He'll be leaving your presents on the front porch. <laughs> Just like the Amazon delivery person, minus the working for a trillionaire dickhead part. So yes, leave the cookies there, and also, don't, for the love of God, leave me any milk. Would you want to drink milk that had been sitting out for six and a half hours? If you want to leave Santa a beverage, leave him a can of beer, and none of that watered-down nonsense. Don't worry. The sleigh is on autopilot anyway, and Rudolph and the reindeer, they know the route. They've been doing it for a very long time. I just sort of shake the reins to make it look like I'm doing something. And make sure those cookies are cellophane wrapped like the kinds you might get in a vending machine. Or better yet, leave Santa a whole sealed bag of cookies. <laughs> And once all the presents are delivered, Santa and the reindeer will have to quarantine for two weeks when we return to the North Pole. But first, I'm thinking we might do a little detox vacay in New Zealand. You know, find a cute Airbnb, get some beach time. Instead of saying, ho, 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 I'll be saying, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> well, until then, happy Christmas in July. And remember, Santa is always watching. So if you aren't wearing a mask, you'll be on the naughty list for sure. Ho, ho. <laughs> Well, that's it. That is tonight's episode of the Homemade Sketch Show. A new episode airs every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to like, share, comment below this video, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an episode. Yes, I am looking at you because we know there are distractions. Oh yes, I said it. 
distractions. <laughs> also, make sure to click the link below and make a donation to the platform group. Now, here in times of COVID and quarantine and the pandemic and us being in our houses for an eternity, obviously, many opportunities for performers are basically null and void. So all donations made to the platform group goes to benefit the creators and performers of this very show. And even donations, teeny tiny, go a long, long way. So we thank you for that. And we will see you next week. Make sure to tune in. Make sure to subscribe. Good night, everybody.